Okay, let me come on. Welcome everyone. I'm a few minutes early, believe it or not. Let me take this off. Welcome to Shall We Stamp? Weekly Tuesday night card making class. And I am just going to sit here and wait until those of you come on and announce yourself as you enter the room. If you don't mind, that would be awesome. If you don't, that's okay. No problemo. I'm just organizing while I'm waiting on everyone to come in. Let me see. I'm trying to get my uh, desk organ um, situated, and I don't know if it is or not. So I guess we'll see. All right, we are live and waiting. Put a little bit of lipstick on in case you're not there yet. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we should be getting some uh, people coming on. Make sure you leave your name. Let me know that you are here. And uh, we'll start, it's one minute to seven, so we'll give it a couple of more minutes because I know everybody kind of comes on around seven o'clock or a little bit after. So that is fine. I am ready and it's cold in here, so I'm gonna have to put my sweater on. We've turned the air conditioner on because it's a tad warm and now I'm freezing. This room apparently doesn't get, I think the vents, it gets too much cold. So now I'm gonna wear this bright pink, lovely sweater. <laughs> I'll stand out. Woo. Okie doke. Uh, we should be good. I think I refreshed the um, page. There we go. Hey, Faye, how you doing? How's the weather up in Virginia? It's hot down here. My girlfriend in Norfolk uh, said it was in um, slightly raining where she is. So, boy, this is a pink sweater, isn't it? <laughs> so. Welcome everyone, come on in. Let me know that you're here. And we'll start in a couple of minutes. We'll wait for the others uh, to come in. Hey, Karen Joe from Bradenton, Florida. How's everything? You like my pink? It is bright, man. I'll tell you what, I had this on, but I am freezing. We got the air conditioner on. I think it's down too cold. It's down too cold. It's on 76, but it's cold in this um, my stamp room. So how is everybody? We are back from um, Hilton Head. I know, pretty in pink. It's one of my colors, but I like teal. But I'm cold, so I'm putting on this sweater. It's an old raggedy sweater, but I don't care. Well, we're back from Hilton Head. If y'all haven't been there, oh my God, Hilton Head Island is just absolutely stunning. And we stayed at this really nice uh, motor coach resort. And I am just amazed at the number of restaurants that are just tucked away in these office parks. I mean, you go by and you see these, you know, looks like office park buildings, right? And it's just restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. And they're such good, I mean, really good food. And the prices were pretty reasonable. We went to one place that was a little, little expensive. Um, a ribeye steak would, was um, $68. I was like, oh my God. But, um, oh yeah, see, it's, it's chilly here. Hi, Denise from New York. How's everything? But uh, the trip was nice. Um, if you saw my um, post, we bought the dog, Riley, a backpack. And it's teal, which is my favorite color, in case y'all didn't know that. Um, She's getting older. She's 12 years old, so she can't walk as long as, you know, we when we go walking, she gets tired out easy, easy, a lot easier than she did years ago. So I was telling Chuck, I said, why don't we get a dog, um, a backpack for her, and if we don't like it, we'll just send it back. <laughs> I know, $68 for a steak. It was, I ended up ordering it because it was on the, um, high on the list of reviews, and it was good, and it was thick. I mean, it was a good chunk of meat, let me tell you, but $68, I don't think we've ever gone out to dinner and spent $200, close to $200 by the time you added in tip. And we only had a couple of drinks. We didn't have that many, but anyways, it was good. 
But anyway, so we bought Riley this backpack. I swear to God, the dog is so easy going. I mean, she is just so easy. So we put her in there, and I think I haven't quite, I haven't measured her, but I think she's only like 17 inches long. The backpack uh, fits dogs up to 22. So uh, it was coming up like up to our neck, a little bit high. So, uh, and Chuck didn't have it pulled up high enough on his shoulders, but we figured we were going to cut a piece of foam and put in the bottom for her to sit on, which will help her stand up some. And her paws go through the little holes in the front, and she's got her <laughs> she's got her paws on his shoulder, and she's leaning back. She's just looking at everybody. She just is so easy going, and she just she's happy as long as she's with us. So we only walked around the block. We didn't excuse me. We didn't um, walk her after we bought that, but we did did have it because we're going to be heading out in December or the day after Thanksgiving, which I need to tell my husband that's Black Friday. So. Traffic might be a little crazy, but anyways, so we may do some walking that she'll uh, ride with us. So, yeah, exactly, treating yourselves. But that's a little much for, you know, a nice, big, fat ribeye. But, it, you know, what the hell? You only live once, right? <laughs> but she just, the, Riley just loves, she just loves anything. She, you know, we put her in the bicycle and the basket, and she likes, she loves that. I've got pink doggles for her. And she just sits there and lets the wind blow in her face, and she's happy as can be, you know? So we're heading to, um, we're here for the month of November. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get comfortable. And then um, we're heading to Fort Myers to stay at another motor coach resort um, down there. And we're going to go the day after um, Thanksgiving, and then I guess we come back the day after Christmas. So we'll be there for a month. So um, that, <clears throat> which tells me, excuse me, that I have to, get planned and get everything planned ahead of time for our Tuesday nights because it's a little hard to get um, you know to plan when you're in the RV and you can't bring all your stuff and get you know it's just easier for me to do it ahead of time <laughs> so anyways all right well everyone's popping in so I just want to welcome everybody hello from Idaho how are you so um, and I'm sure you all have heard this, but I'm going to just give you some updates while we're waiting on people to uh, log in, and then we'll get started. The uh, Eden's Garden Bundle, which I'm sure you all have seen, and I showed you the beautiful paper um, last week, is now open to uh, you all that are not demonstrators to purchase. So as of today, you can purchase that. Now the paper, and I'll show you the gems, which um, some of these I think we've had at the top. Um, let me put them down here. No, I'm not showing you that yet. I'll show you in a minute. The gems, the paper, and then there's, I think, cotton paper. Anyways, there's designer paper, another paper, and the gems. Those are only while supplies last. So if you haven't purchased them and you want to purchase them, my recommendation is you need to get, uh, get your orders in before they sell out. Because, I, you know, people go crazy when they like something, especially if they know that um, it's while supplies last. Welcome from Madison, Indiana. So, um, anyways, uh, let me introduce myself in case we have new people coming on board, which I hope we do. I'm Dawn Duvall. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I've been with them for 10 years, believe it or not. I live in the Villages, Florida, which is an over 55 uh, golf community. And um, I have a dog, Riley, who is a therapy dog. And we haven't gone back to doing our therapy work. And, the, and she's a read dog, a reading education assistance dog. And the, school's, the school wants us back. And I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to go back yet. I know it's not fair to the kids, but ugh, I don't know. So anyways, um, so I've been a demonstrator. I used to work in the mortgage uh, finance world and banking. I was a middle-level management uh, manager for years. And then I went into the last... I think it was 18 years as a um, mortgage loan officer. So, which I'm glad I'm not doing now because I know it's crazy out there. But anyways, so back to my thing. So the Eden's Garden Bundle, and I'll show you that, um, and I'm sure you all have probably already seen it. But I'll show you the stamp set and the dies. Uh, that is available now. And then we just got word this morning, and I'm sure you've seen it because everybody's posting, that um, our starter kit so if you want to if you have a major long list wish list of stamping items that you want you need to buy the starter kit and join my community of crafty girls uh, they've reduced it to $75 so now you get to choose $125 for $75 plus tax we pay the shipping 
You also get a paper pumpkin kit, which is a full, um, all-inclusive uh, paper crafting kit. And it depends on the time of year. It could be cards. It could be uh, treat packages, a combination of both or whatever. That comes with its own exclusive stamp and ink spot. Uh, your first one, you get a little uh, clear block and um, all the materials that you need to make um, eight to 10 cards or gift bags or what have you. And then on top of that, you'll get catalogs and business supplies. Um, and if it's something that you don't want to do as a business, that's fine. 95% um, of my um, team, people who've joined, um, have joined for the discount. So every time once you join, then you get a 20 or 25% discount, um, which can go up depending on you know what your sales are. And um, you just get your stuff at a discount. And then if you don't meet the minimums that are required, then you just go back to being a you know happy customer. So it's a great deal for $75. So you could really, if you don't have the stamp and cut boss machine, you could get that thing and then a little bit more. So anyways, I think it's a great deal. So if it's something you've been thinking about, and think about this, it's only good through the end of November. So if you know somebody um, that's thinking about it, it could be like a Christmas present that the husband could give them the $75 and they could join. Um, so just, you know, if you know anybody that um, is a paper crafter or scrapbooker and they're ordering a lot of stuff, this, is, um, this would probably be a good thing that they should look into. $75. You probably spend, I know quilters spend $300 in one whack, um, you know, buying stuff to do quilts. So um, our $99 deal is a pretty good deal, but $75 is really worth it. So um, think about that, but I'd love to have you join my team. I have um, folks that live here in Florida, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan. Did I say Michigan? Michigan, I have to think. Michigan, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia. And here in Florida. I think that's it. So anyways, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's 10 after 7. We are going to work with the Eden's Garden. We're going to make two fun folds. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy them. And um, let's get, let's go ahead and turn this uh, thing down. Oh, one thing I do ask, if you don't mind, which you all are really good at, is um, make sure that you share my video or um, invite your friends to come to a, um, watch one of the videos uh, one Tuesday night. That would be awesome. I'd greatly appreciate that. Now my sweater's going off because I'm getting warm. Um, I would greatly appreciate that as well. I, I made mention that I'm going to make some changes to my page. I'm still trying to work out things, so I'll let y'all know when that takes place. So no frets, but right now we're just going to do business as usual. I'm going to show you my stamping, how much fun we're going to have. And let's get started. Let me show you the Eden's Garden stamp set for those of you who, who've not seen it. So let me turn my uh, camera down. And do we have a glare? Oh my, that's a first. Hang on a minute. And now my, my camera, hold on, I gotta fix my camera. It's crooked. Hold on, I gotta twist it. Let me, let me do my little twisty. Hang on a second. All right, I think that's good. Okay, if you all don't have a demonstrator and you want to place an order, I'd love to earn your business. This host code right here, you can use it through my uh, shallwestamp.com is my um, website where you can get to my online shopping store. And this right here, well, um, if you place an order, then you'll get a free gift in the mail for me at the end of the month. Glare not too bad? Okay, perfect. All right, so this is the stamp set. This is a cling, and it's also called a what we call a distinctive stamp. Now, some people, there's a 10 stamps, there's five images and five sentiments. Now the distinctive stamp is just that. I mean, it really looks very distinct when you stamp. So some people think that it's not stamping correctly because parts of it are light, not as, you know, as, um, uh, you know, have a, a better look to it, but it's just, that's what it is. So when we stamp it, you're going to see um, what it is. I love the distinctive stamps. I mean, this is a really awesome, awesome. I love this stamp set. And then it has, um, as the bundle, if you purchase that, you get that 10% discount. So as a demonstrator, you would get 10% plus your 20%, right? Or 25% depending. Um, okay, so the dies, there's five uh, Eden dies is what they're called. And these are the dies. You've got a really cute sentiment you could cut that out in your colored paper and then just put a white strip for your sentiment. This I'm sure you've seen. I'm gonna use this the next time. 
I'm sure you've seen cards with this. This cuts a border. Um, this is a single leaf. And then this is like um, an oval. But what you can do, and I was playing with this the other day while actually in the motorhome. Um, you can cut this apart and kind of angle it, if you if you will. So there's a lot of potential. And then this is just some um, just different greenery. Um, and they both have you know openings in the center so that you can use that to put your sentiment or whatever so I just you know I love this set it's really pretty so this will be in the in the January to June catalog um, next year however like I said earlier if you're just joining the paper the um, embellishments the uh, these are the garden gems now the, the camera probably is not going to do this justice these up here we've had before those they're the blue kind of iridescent which we used um i think it was last year we had them in the fall for this um for christmas or the holidays as well and these right here are new so these are only while supplies last as well as the paper uh two the diff two different types of paper okay all right so enough of that sales pitch but we have to get it out there okay now let me show you the card we're going to make and if you've seen this before then um good i i got this from oh gosh hang on robin uh doss i think is her last name now this i love this fun fold now um if you're not a demonstrator this gold ribbon has been on back order but it is due to come back on the 8th which i think is monday so we may have it in um the warehouse maybe friday possibly monday or tuesday so this goes perfect with this um with this the stamp and this whole paper suite it's just absolutely stunning okay so we're doing a belly band so we're going to slide this off now if you've seen this kind of fold i have not so here we go you ready we're going to fold it and then this one folds and look ta-da and there's our inside we got little papers on it so there's the inside of a card what do you think about that all right so we fold it like that fold it like that put our belly band on and then you've got a nice, and it's like a package in a package, is it not? Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this card. So we're going to set that off to the side. Um, I'm going to pull in my paper trimmer because we've got to do some scoring. Imagine that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to start out with, let me get my supplies out so I can show you all the pieces. All right, hang on, bear with me. <clears throat> okay, you're going to start out with a five and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. So um, unfortunately, you're only gonna be able to get one card base out of an eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of cardstock. So you're gonna only get one. So it's five and a half by 11 inches, all right? So, and keep that three inch part that you cut off because I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. So we're gonna put this in our paper trimmer and we're gonna do some scoring. So we're gonna start since my um, trimmer's open, I know you can't see, we're going to line this up to um, nine and three quarters, okay? So we're going to do nine and three quarters, and we're going to score, right? And then we're going to move it over to our normal half, which is of 11 is five and a half, right? So we're going to move it to five and a half, and we're going to make sure it's butted up against this header here. And if you don't have this trimmer, y'all need to get one, because this is an awesome trimmer. It's only $25. All right, and then the next the next one we're going to do is one and three quarters so we're going to bring this all the way down and i'm going to butt this up to the top of the head and make sure you get your papers even with the lines because we're going to make sure that it's straight so we're going to get that lined up right there we're going to lay this down and we're going to score at one and three quarters all right and that's all we're going to do for this card all right so we're going to take this and move this out of the way all right, so what we're going to do is the smaller uh, score line is the one you want to have on the bottom, the bottom of your card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it at, I'm going to fold it, I'm sorry, at our five and a half mark, okay? So I'm going to make sure my, uh, my card is lined up evenly. Some people ask me, does it matter if you fold it this way or you fold it back? It doesn't matter. As long as you've got your edges all lined up. That's all that matters, okay? So we're going to give this a good crease with our bone folder. All right. Now, this is the larger of the two. This is the bottom one is the one and three quarters. So you want that one to be on the bottom. So all I'm going to do is take where my score line is and fold this back. 
okay? And then I'm gonna take this one, that's the one and three quarters, and I'm gonna fold that on top of this one. It's a really easy card, you guys, I'm telling you. You're gonna, you're gonna send out cards, you can make Christmas cards, and people are just gonna love you for this. Okay, now, so we've got that done, right? So the next thing we're gonna do, let me get my pieces together, is we are going to take and cut a piece of this paper. Isn't this gorgeous? You're gonna cut it at three and a half, that way, by five and a quarter. Okay, three and a half by five and a quarter. Now make sure you look at your um, di uh, direction of your paper. Now this one probably doesn't, well, it may matter. I'm gonna flip it this way because it looks like those are like leaves or berries to me. So I'm gonna lay it like this. This is the back side of this paper. Now that kind of looks like um, like a little, um, like a, I don't know, like a chart, not a chart, but it's just like, just, you know, like little openings. So this would be great for making masculine cards and all of that, okay? So we're gonna lay this right on the front of our cards. That piece is gonna go right here. So three and a half by five and a quarter. And give me one second, let me, I was, I did a team meeting and I have glue stuck on my thing from earlier. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to put our favorite Tombow liquid glue on here. And we will pop this on the front of our card. So let's go ahead and lay that down right there. It's, th again, three and a half inches. So it gives you a nice little border. So we'll lay that there. Make sure it sticks. Okay. All right, now we're going to fold this one over. And I'm going to use this piece here. And again, this piece is cut... Um, at one and a half inches and I think and I don't really know if this really has a pattern or to it or not but I think I'm gonna lay it like this and this is this backside is more like dots and dashes I don't know if y'all can see that or not but it's kind of like dots and dashes all right so we're gonna uh, glue this one down there all right so let's get some adhesive on this this is probably, um, the other card might be a little bit more difficult only because we're gonna do this weird cut, but um, it's okay. It's still an easy card once you get the hang of it. All right, so we're gonna lay this on here and get that um, even. See, this is an easy one. Y'all can make this. This will be the next card. Now, really, if y'all make any cards using these templates, you need to share with me if you don't mind. Just, I would love to see them. And then this is another piece of this paper. This is one that's all green and gold. Isn't that gorgeous? This, I think I showed you this last week, I'm not sure. And then this is the back side of that one. It's got like arrows, little, I don't know what you call them. They look like arrows to me, or feathers. All right, and we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna have these, um, I don't know if the leaf should go down or go up. Let's see, what do we think? I don't know, I think I kinda like them going that way. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know, it's your card. You can do what you want, right? So if you want your uh, flowers to go upside down, it doesn't matter. Your card, you do what you want, and that's what we're doing. All right, so we're gonna place that right there and line that up, make sure we get it somewhat even. All right, so there's that. Isn't that easy? All right, so we got that part done. All right, now we're gonna take our inside, which is our typical four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna do a little stamping on this, and I'm gonna use the large, um, if I can find it. Um, let's see, do we wanna do that? No, let's do, um, I'm gonna use the Ev Evening Evergreen ink. I just wanna use some of the darker ink to pull in. I'm gonna stamp um, this leaf right here. I'm gonna stamp that on the inside of my envelope, okay? I'm sorry, inside of my uh, white piece. I don't know what I'm thinking. My brain's not functioning. All right, I'm just gonna stamp it down here in the corner. All right, now look at that. Now see how some people might think, oh my gosh, it didn't stamp all the way, but that's the distinctive. See how some of it is more distinct than others around the edges? That's how it's designed to look. I just think it's gorgeous. All right, so let's, um, now we're gonna move on. And let's put this inside our card. I'm gonna just, I'm only doing that just to give it a little, we don't like to have it completely white on the inside. Now we could stamp something else, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. And that gives you plenty of room to uh, write your message, your love note or whatever. All right, so we're gonna just put our adhesive here and I'm gonna keep that out of the center just so it doesn't affect the writing ability as far as the paper. So we're just gonna lay that in here 
And the one thing about the Tombow, it does give you the ability to move it a little bit. So, all right, so there we go with that. All right, so that's that part of the card, right? Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, I use the um, Stitch So Sweetly, Stitch So Sweetly uh, dies, and I'm using the largest uh, first two for our sentiment, okay? So I, I cut one out in soft succulent, and the other one in our basic white. So I'm gonna stamp on here, um, sending hugs. So I'm gonna stamp that. And I'm just gonna stamp this right in the center. Hopefully it's in the center. I can't see unless I stand up. So hopefully I don't get any lines on it. All right, how are we doing out there, everybody okay? What is size of third DSP? Uh, this one here, this one is one inch by five and a quarter. This one, is one and a half inches by five and a quarter. And then this one's three and a half, okay? All right, good thing I caught that one before that question went away. All right, so we've got that stamp. Now there's this little tiny stamp. Can you see, let me see if I can put it down. It's got little berries on it. It kind of goes with some of these, right? Well, not that one. All right, so I'm gonna stamp this just to dress up our little sentiment here. So I'm just gonna stamp. See, sometimes you put your ink, you ink it, and you don't think it's got ink on it, right? But it does. So I'm just going to stamp this off to the side. It may come off, but that's okay. Um, just to kind of dress up our sentiment. And I'll put one right about, oh, let's do right about here. Okay, so that's fine. I think that looks good. All right, so let's close up that. And let me wash my, or wipe my ink pads off for just a second. Okay, we're going to attach this with our liquid adhesive. And we're going to put that on to our soft succulent. And then we're going to create a belly band. So when I said, remember I said to save that three inch piece that you cut off from your cardstock right after you make your uh, card base. You're going to take that three inch piece and I cut it down. You can cut it to whatever width you want. I cut mine down to one and, one and a quarter inches. Okay. But what I did, I don't want 11 inches because that's too big. So I'm gonna cut mine down to nine and um, nine and three. Uh, let me see. What do I want to do here? I think nine and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut mine down. Or is it? Yeah, let's cut it down to nine and three quarters. It might be nine and a half. Let's do nine and three quarters. And if that's not, um, if that's not, if that's too long, we'll ch we'll chop it. I don't want to have ex you know excess when you make your belly band. I think it should be nine and a half, but it really it's not going to matter. Okay, so this is one and a quarter inch for the belly band. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to lay this down on the table, and we're going to set our card in here. All right. And you can use your grid paper if you have it, or whatever you have on hand if you want to make sure it's straight. I don't worry about all that because you know I just kind of go with the, go with the flow. I just go with it. You know, all right, so I'm going to pull this up and I'm just going to fold it over and give this a crease because I know that's going to go there. And then this one I'm going to fold over, yeah, so that was good. Nine and uh, what did I say, nine and three quarters. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to adhere this, but we want to make sure it's not too tight because we want to be able to slide it off, right? So I think we should be good with that. So what I'm going to do is add, I'm gonna use seal. I'm just gonna make, um, make sure I get it. And let me go ahead and burnish this one. Then I'm gonna use our seal. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here. I don't know if I can get it to work. And here, I'll put a piece right there, okay? And then I'm gonna fold this one over. And it, you're not gonna see that, so it doesn't matter. I got glue right there, but it's okay. All right, so there's that. Now, we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this, and I'm gonna line them up. Now, some people, you can lay them right here if you're more comfortable with that. I know I want this in the center, so I'm gonna put three dimensionals, and I'm just gonna put them in a row. So I'm gonna lay one here, lay one right there, and put one in the center. And then that's going to attach our, oh, 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 good, I almost messed up again. That's what I did earlier. Before we add that, we have to add our gold ribbon. And this is, hopefully we'll be back um, next Monday. They say it should be in the, um, it should be in because I've got a class coming up and we're using this ribbon. <laughs> 
All right, so we're gonna wrap some gold around it, which was gonna pull in that gold from the paper. And I don't need to wrap it all the way, so I'm gonna use that adhesive that's left there um, to help hold it in place. So I'm just gonna cut it right about there. I don't need it to go all the way across because my sentiment is gonna uh, cover that up. Move that over there. So I'm just gonna add a piece, uh, a little snip of adhesive right there, our seal. Whoops, hang on, let me get it so it's laying straight. So we're gonna put the gold down. That, again, it just gives it a little, um, you know, pretty little thing. Let's make sure we've got it straight. Hang on, we don't want it to look crooked. So we're just gonna lay it like that. I think that looks good. Okay, now we're ready to put our sentiment on. So I'm just gonna lay that right over top here, make sure that it is centered, which it looks like it is. And there's our card. How easy is that? Go with the flow. I do go with the flow. I don't let this stuff, I don't get stressed out. Some people get stressed out. You know, it's not straight. It's not, I, you know, it's a handmade card. All right, so there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at that. It gives it a nice look. We slide this little bad boy off. And voila, you have your inside so you can write your lovely message. All right. So there's our first card. Okay, let me get that one on there. All right, so what do you think about that? That's an easy one, so I'm sure y'all can recreate that one. All right, now comes now comes the next. Oh, wait, I forgot. Hang on, I'm not done yet. I forgot, I forgot. Our jewels. We gotta put our garden gems on here. And I think because I don't, these, I don't think these are gonna look good because those are like a diamond shape. So I'm gonna just use, I'm gonna use these right here because they're big, the larger. So we'll put one at the top. We wanna just add a little bit of bling. I almost forgot, and that dresses that up. There we go, now the card is done. Isn't that beautiful? I know, it's a really pretty card, and it's so easy to make, and it's this paper. The paper does it all, so I'm telling you, if you guys have not ordered this, you need to get this paper before it sells out. Okay, now, let me, I'm gonna move this over here, let me move this over here. Move all my stuff out of the way, because now we're bringing in this card, and this is gonna be, this is an easy card. It's just a little bit of a challenge when we get ready to, um, let me get my supplies out, when we get ready to uh, do our little thing. So let me get everything out and then I'll show you what we're doing here. All right, hang on a minute. I get excited about this stuff because I love making these fun folds. And whenever I, whoops, whenever I come across one that I haven't seen before, I'm like, woohoo, that's good, I love it. All right, so we're gonna bring in some other stamps from the stamp set. Okay. Oops, we need that gold ribbon. Bring this back. All right, you ready for this one? All right, here you go. You better watch out because look. All right, see, this is a different paper. Now, I just want you to notice, as I'm going to point out my mistake. So, well, maybe not. Yeah, it is. This one I've got, well, maybe it is okay. I think this one that I've got more leaves going down and this one looks back. I don't know, whatever. Okay, you ready? Here we go. And it. look at that. Voila! Isn't that cute? See, look at that. La, 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 la. It's another one. Okay. So, this is an easy card. This part, it's not... I, I practiced on a piece of copy paper first. And then I practiced and I did it on a card stock. And I screwed that one up and I had to do it again. But it's very simple once you figure out how to do it. Okay? Alright, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start, this is a soft succulent, and we're gonna start with our typical, normal, eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, right? And we're gonna score. So at eight and a half, we're gonna score it at four and a quarter, right? Let me get that out of the way. So we're gonna score at four and a quarter. All right, four and a quarter. Okay, all right, so there's four and a quarter. Now, we're gonna come over here and score this is um, four and a quarter. So we want um, half of this is going to be two and an eighth, right? So half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. And I don't know if you all saw, I posted a video that I did a while back on um, paper layering. And um, just for, for beginner stampers, it's on, it's on my Facebook page. Um, this is going to be scored at two and an eighth. And I got in there and was talking about uh, the measurements, and I said to everybody, and I was giving them all these, um, you know, 3 8 7 16 all that. I said, y'all didn't know this was going to be a math class, did you? So, okay. 
So this one we're gonna fold like we normally do, right? So we're just gonna line up our, um, our edges, give it a good burnish, okay? And then we're gonna pull this one back. This is where I scored, or you can fold it back, but I like to do it because I wanna make sure it's exact. So this is why we scored this at two and a, an eighth, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our paper on the inside. Now this is the back side, isn't that pretty? But look at that, isn't that gorgeous with the gold? I'll bring it down a little bit, isn't that pretty? So I think I'm gonna lay this right here. Now this is four by five and a quarter, okay? It's just our normal, and we're gonna lay this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this down. Now should I go like that? Yeah, that, or should it go like this? No, I think it should go like this. All right, we're gonna put that on there. So let's um, put that on there. Now why do I have two of these pieces? I'm not sure why I have two of these. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, now I know. All right, we're gonna flip this over and attach this to right here. Okay, so, so far, this is not anything that you, this is easy peasy, y'all know how to do this. <laughs> and then we're gonna layer these. So these are cut at one and seven eighths, all right? Now I'm gonna flip this over because I don't want that same color, it'd be too busy. So I'm gonna flip this one over like that, and then this one, I'm gonna lay right here, okay? So let's go ahead and adhere this one. And then we're gonna bring in the, um, the stamp and cut emboss machine that's such a mouthful. I wish they'd have come up with an easier name. Stamp and cut, stamp and cut emboss machine. All right, so we're gonna lay that one right there and just get it centered um, between the score lines. And pull it down if you want it to be exact, which um, we'll do, okay? All right, now this one, I'm gonna make sure my paper's going in the same direction. It is. We're gonna lay this one right there, and that's the same. One and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Okay, all right, with me so far? Okay, now comes wrap your head around part. All right, let's get this on here first. Okay, this is a fun one too. Now, I did not have, all right, you need some nesting dies for what we're getting ready to do. I didn't really have any that worked, so I had to use the ones um, that retired, the stitch nested labels, which are these, The um, but if you have, and I didn't really want to do a circle, um, layering circles, and I really didn't want to do a square. So I'm using these, and um, my apologies that they are retired, but it's the only nested type stuff that were close, close enough in size that I needed. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp, you're gonna cut out um, two of the smaller um, nested dies. You're going to cut out the smaller of the two, right? So we're going to make two of this size, and then you're going to make the next largest size up, okay? Now, this is what we're going to do. We are going to line this up, this die, and I'm going to line it up where I have, um, I want a little bit more room over here, and this is where I'll have to show you. Let me bring the big shot in and um, big shot, I'm sorry. It's not the big shot, it's the stamp and cut emboss machine. But what we're gonna do, <clears throat> pardon me, is we're gonna line this up. Let me see, I want, hang on a minute, I gotta think about it. Yeah, I want more over here. Okay, so we're gonna line this up and I'm gonna slide my um, points to right right. You can lay it on the, it's not gonna cut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna put some tape on this to hold it. We're only gonna cut half of this. So if you have dies and you wanna cut something but you don't wanna cut the whole die out of your paper, this is what you need to do. All right, so hopefully it's centered. I'm gonna have a little bit more on this side. Well, actually, let's get it in the center. So I'm just gonna line this up with my points on the line. And I'm gonna put this right here, tape to hold this in place, okay? All right, now, let me bring the machine in. Hopefully y'all can see this. Hang on a minute, let me get, I don't have a lot of room here, so let's get the machine situated. Can y'all see? All right. <clears throat> let me see if I can back out of this some. No, we don't wanna do that. There we go. All right, we're gonna lay this in here, okay? Now, here's the part 
We're going to bring this in. Let me go this way. We're going to put this back here. All we're going to do is hold our plate right on my points. Do you see what, how, can you see that? I have right here is where the plate is. I'm not going to cut this. So I'm only going to run it through and where the plate pushes down on the die is where it's going to cut it. So it's not going to cut right here. So we just want this to cut this portion right here. And you can use any kind of die you want, okay? So, um, but you want to make sure they're nested because you're going to have another one that goes over here. All right, so are y'all with me so far on that? Okay, so now I've got to crank this little thing. So let me get him pushed in. And we're going to crank it through. So bear with me because I'm right-handed. All right, hang on. Let me get up here. And I'm going to have to work it this way. I'm going to be left-handed here for a minute. All right, so I, I need to get it so it grabs it. Hang on. There we go. All right, let's see. We're going to get him in there. i got to get it to go this way, don't I? No, we're going to pull it this way. I, I'm, I'm trying to do it backwards. All right, hang on. I was going to cut this. I thought, well, I can't cut this because i got to show them how, what we're doing here. So let me get the thing going. All right, hang on a minute. Let me do it this way. Sorry, guys. Let me get it twisted this way so you can see because i got to push it in. All right, you ready? Ugh, can you see? All right, so that's where we're going to have it stop cutting right there. Let me move it back just a little bit because i got my plate a little bit. Let me move my cardstock right there. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go. There we go. Now we're going to hold that in. All right, so it's going to cut. It's only going to cut that one part. I'm going to run it through, and that bounced off. Okay, all that work. All right. So hang on. Let me get this out of the way. This is a challenge. Okay, hang on. This was the this was until you do it once or twice, it looks hard, but it really isn't that bad. Okay. Alright, so now see what I did? Alright, so we cut that. Alright, see how that flaps? Is that the small um, on the stitched um, the stitch no I am using um, let's see I'm using this one I don't know how you have yours but I like large and then how it goes like this for size wise so I'm using this one and then I'm using this one here which is uh, which makes this size so that that this one right here okay but you can use whatever size you want, but you don't want anything. You know, it just depends on how big of a, a, a white thing that you want, okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. So you see how it only cut that part because we didn't put the die on here, right? So see how that works? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold our card, okay? Now, we're not gonna, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do, and then we're going to stamp. So how this works is we're going to stamp our sentiment, and we're going to lay this right here. And then we're going to lay this one on the back side. So when it opens, it's going to flip. Isn't that cool? So let's go ahead and do some decorating. So we're going to decorate both of these. Now I want to, uh, let's see. We are going to, um, I'm going to use the hello there. Hello there. Now this stamp doesn't fit, right? It's too big to stamp my hello there. So if you're new, I'm going to use our uh, stamp and write marker and I'm going to color half of my words to stamp. So when I first started um, with stamping up, when I first started stamping before I became a demonstrator, I couldn't afford to buy all the inks, right? Well, I went ahead and I thought, well, it was $100 at the time. I bought the whole um, ink kit, the whole kit and caboodle because I had all the colors. So I could color if I didn't have the ink pad. For the color that I wanted then I just pulled out the marker and used the marker to do my coloring so now the the um, the photopolymer stamps you can do this on them sometimes it's a little bit harder but the red rubber does really well so you just stamp the um, half of what you want on your uh, the sentiment and then I'm gonna stamp it where I want it on my tag if you will Okay, so I got my hello there. Oops, look, so you see that? I didn't get it cleaned. I didn't clean it all from the last time. Very good. 
but we're gonna pretend you whoops we're gonna pretend y'all didn't see that so I got to clean this really really good all right so let's make sure got some ink stuck in there we don't want that coming out hang on that all right so let's stamp on our paper yep see it's got some ink there we go let's get that off of there okay and just stamp it make sure we don't have any ink that's going to show up okay now I'm going to come back and I'm going to color in there like hello there so I'm just going to color this with the marker and just take it and run it right across that's all you got to do it's just an easy way that you can stamp if you don't have um, if you need something in different colors in this case I wanted a, the sentiment but I didn't want it all right so there you go pretty easy so there's something else that you can do if you weren't aware of that all right so this one we're gonna stamp uh, let me see where are my flowers we're gonna do our leaves let's do uh, some of the leaves so um, again I'm going to use the one that has the little um, little I don't know what you call them those little ball things right there because it is um, it does have it in here in this paper so we're gonna use that so let me bring the ink pad in and again this is evening um, evergreen and I am going to stamp one up here at the top and you can decorate this however you want and I'll do one let's do one this way since he's going that way let's do this one this way all right so there's that one and then I'm gonna come back okay that's one and then this one I'm going to stamp okay here's the big distinctive stamp all right so I'm gonna walk this on my ink pad to make sure I get it inked now granted this piece is small but can you see how some is darker than the others that's what's called distinct and if you look really closely you can't see it online but if you have if you have a distinctive stamp and you pull it out you're gonna see a bunch of lines all throughout here and that's how they create that so even though this piece is small I'm just gonna stamp I want the center part to be on here so I'm just gonna angle it and stamp it all over this right here it's just gonna cover the back side all right so there we go Isn't that pretty can you see that how some of it is darker than others that's how it's designed to do all right so let's close this up oh wait we got one more thing to do hang on might as well leave our ink out we got us we're gonna stamp this thing here too all right hang on let me move my stuff out of the way and uh, let's see which um, and I think I'll take this one here okay this is some leaves so we're gonna use that one all right y'all still hanging in there with me all right so we're gonna stamp this one and I'm just gonna stamp it down at the bottom and off a little bit because this is where we're gonna write our image and it's really not gonna give us a lot of room so I'm just gonna stamp that right there all right okay so that's all the stamping let me move these over here I'll clean these later when we get done okay now so this is the big one and these are the two small ones so we're gonna take this and we're gonna add some adhesive to the back of this and then we're going to attach it to that piece that's laid uh, while it's laying flat okay so you're gonna take this piece here it's gonna nestle right in there you're just gonna line it right on top it's gonna to cover exactly what we cut right so we're gonna put that right there okay now we're gonna fold it over now see so we're gonna take this piece and you can put whatever designs on here um, whatever stamp set you want to do you can use you know you could actually do a small circle if you wanted um, you could do a small square um, I did try to use the contouring uh, dies but <clears throat> excuse me they didn't have enough they were one was too small and the other one was too it was way too big so all I'm gonna do is line this up right um, on that edge of that one okay so it's just going to cover the back side of that up right so we're gonna lay that there and you can put words on here you can put it you know you can put a message here you don't have to put um, all right so look at that and then it opens Isn't that cool so you close it and then it opens up all right and then this one we're just gonna tuck this one off kind of in the center um, and if it closes you know if you want to have it so it doesn't get seen 
um, that it's going to be a, uh, it'll probably work like that. That'll probably be fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that showing because you don't want to have it. So I did this one. If you notice, it's a little bit, um, it's really not centered, um, but I think it'll be fine if this is showing. So I'm just going to put it right about here and then that's going to lay, and then you'll just see some layering. That's all. So we'll do it right about here. So I'm going to hold that here. Let me put my finger, put my finger right there so we know that's where it's supposed to go. And I'm just going to add some adhesive on this. Okay. Get this one up here. All right, so we're going to place that guy right about here. And again, you know, I'm not going to be concerned if it's not exactly right, but that's it. Okay. Doesn't give you much to write your message, but, you know, you can just write, you know, love you, hope you're doing well, whatever. Okay. All right, so we've got that done. Now we need to decorate this a little bit. Now in the dies, there is um, this one small leaf that's by itself and I cut this out in gold. So I thought we'd place that here just to kind of pull the gold in. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here. Let me get my um, craft mat, my silicone mat. And God, my nose is itching. Um, I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue on this. Not too much because I don't want it to ooze out. Okay, and then we're going to lay this guy, <clears throat> pardon me, all right, let's put him, since our leaf is kind of going like, like, this one's a little twisted, so I'm just going to move it like it's off-centered a little bit. I don't, actually, I don't want the tail, I don't want this to get in the way of opening the card, so I think I'm just going to kind of lay it on top and over to the side a little bit. I think that's fine. This might be, I did cut off the first one I tried. I cut this part off and then it looks stupid because it doesn't even look like a, oops, it didn't look like a leaf. You got to be careful because they're, you know, very fine when you cut them. All right, so we're going to play that there. Okay, and then the last thing is we're going to use our gold uh, ribbon and we're going to put a little one. We're going to make a small bow. Hope this gold comes in and we're going to be in trouble with my card glass. I have an online class coming up if y'all are interested. It's on my um, Facebook page. And registration closes on the 9th. And we're using the dog, uh, the Christmas dogs, uh, sweet little stockings. I'm trying to tie a little bow while I'm talking to y'all. Um, sweet little stockings, and you'll make eight cards. And you'll get a kit in the mail. And, um, and then also you'll have a PDF tutorial and then there's videos I'll be creating, which I've got to do that this week too. All right, and the class is um, technically, if you're, I'm doing it in person at my house on the 17th, but um, I do off, I am offering it online. So, okay, so we're gonna get our bow, we're gonna tie, uh, tie that. And the only thing is I always pull my bows a little bit shorter up here than what I need for my loops, because by the time you tighten them, it pulls out stronger, you know, makes it bigger. So I think that's good enough because I don't want it too big because I don't want it to overpower my card. So we'll cut that right there. That one's too long. Okay. And then uh, let's see if we can pull our tails down a little bit. And then we'll attach this with a glue dot. Well, look at that. We're going to be on time again. On time again. All right. Hang on a minute. Let me find my glue dot. Um, okay. I'm going to place one glue dot on the back right in the back of the knot. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna kinda of puff up my bows so they don't look like they're so flat. I'll just put, push, make them like kinda of poofy. All right, and I'm just gonna set that right there in the corner so it kinda of doesn't make it look like it's so naked. Now this little guy needs to, all right, hang on a minute. Let's get him so he fluffs up. And we'll fluff him up with the tweezers. All right, get that out of the way. All right, there you go. What do you think about that? Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? What a neat way you can make all sorts of cards. All right, so those are the two cards that we made this evening. Isn't that exciting? All right, there you go, guys. Thank you so much. It is um, seven minutes to eight o'clock, so we're a little bit early, which is good. I don't hold y'all. Last couple of times, I've held you till 8.30. Um, so thank you again for spending Tuesday with me, um, and I hope you've enjoyed these cards. If you need to watch, the replay will be up um, in a few more minutes, and I do have listed on there um, links to my 
uh, shopping store, uh, my blog, TikTok, and all that good stuff. So, all right. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you all next Tuesday. And if you make some of these cards, please share. That would be awesome. I'd love to see what y'all um, come up with. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.